Adele has sparked a flurry of rumors after arriving at the Brit Awards wearing a massive diamond on her ring finger. The singer strutted down the red carpet in a plunging black floor-length gown proudly displaying the pear-shaped dazzler. If Adele's new addition means what it appears to mean, it's safe to assume that she has successfully repaired her relationship with boyfriend Rich Paul, which was thought to be on the rocks just a month ago. Her new wheel comes on the heels of rumors that her relationship was on the rocks last month. According to reports, one of the primary reasons she backed out of her Las Vegas residency concert was her worsening relationship with Paul, with insiders attesting that she couldn't make it through a rehearsal without shouting and wailing to him over the phone. Following the cancellation of the shows, which enraged fans, a source stated Adele is staying at Rich's place in Beverly Hills, just trying to heal their relationship because things have been tight. They barely saw each other at the start of the month since he was gone on business and she was trying to concentrate on the Vegas show. She was disappointed that he couldn't be there with her when things began to fall apart with the residency, which made things difficult for them both. He needed to be there for her, but he couldn't because he was his own demanding job. According to an insider, the couple had been spending quality time attempting to save things. It was a difficult and stressful moment for her. They are now spending quality time together in order to save things. They adore each other, but it's been a difficult few weeks. This will be Adele's second marriage. She was previously married to Simon Kanaki from 2018 until 2021 during which time the couple had a son named Angelo Atkins. Despite their divorce, they appear to be friends, with Adele remarking to Kanaki, To be honest, I believe Simon saved my life and came at a time when no one else could have provided me with the steadiness that he and Angelo have. I was so young at the time and I believe I would have gotten a little lost in it all. I could have easily gone down some bad pathways and self-destructive because I was so overwhelmed by it. And he came in and he was Teddy, the most stable person I had ever had in my life up until that point. She says, I trust him with my life even now. That's how I feel about him and Angelo. They were sent to me as angels. Fans were already unhappy with Adele after she abruptly canceled all of her Las Vegas residency gigs with only 24 hours as notice, but if the sun is to be believed, they will be even more outraged. According to the magazine, Adele's tearful apologetic video blaming COVID-19 for the catastrophe was replete with falsehoods and the true reason Adele backed out was due to her difficulties with the set design. According to reports, an elaborate moment in which the singer would be hoisted up in a pool was planned, but when Adele saw the final design for this pool, she she was less than satisfied, erupting into a furious rant. According to a source, Adele refused to participate in the shows. Adele described the pool as a baggy old pond, and she flatly refused to stand in the center of it. The plan was to fill it with water on set as she was pulled up on a crane-like contraption, giving the impression she was floating on water. If this turns out to be true, it's a far cry from Adele's supposedly honest confession to her followers. I'm really sorry, but my show ain't ready. The hitmaker said in a video shared to her Instagram, they ran out of time, we've done everything we can to get everything done on schedule and in good enough condition for you. But delivery delays and COVID have completely devastated us. Adele had previously placed the blame for the snafu squarely on the shoulders of COVID-19. It's been impossible to finish the performance since half of my crew and team has been ill with COVID and they are still sick. The situation is devastating. I'm sorry it came to this at the last minute. We've been awake for more than 30 hours trying to work it out and we've run out of time. I'm really upset and ashamed. And I'm truly sorry to everyone who went long distances to see the show this weekend. Please accept my heartfelt apologies. An Adele superfan who spoke with the singer by phone after her cancellation announcement said that the star appeared to be truly upset. In a way, I was consoling her and kind of saying things like, hey, we still support you, we still love you, and we still support you. I tried to concentrate on the positives and the good that was emerging from all of the terrible, anything that might have come over as a result of the awful scenario. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about this? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.